Uh, oh, you got a green cup. I got a red cup. Ooh. Christmas colors. Ooh. How convenient. Oh. Yes, you. So fucking stupid. Hey. 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 Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 141. Where we watch them so you don't have to. Unless you want to. Yeah, but you shouldn't. Because this <laughs> week, we watched... Faces of Schlock. What? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, You'll is... notice that this is, in fact, also the uh, Blood and Boobs edition. Blood and Boobs. Yep. Blood and Boobs. So, uh, this is the third uh, episode of our Christmas extravaganza. We're just trucking along here. Yeah. Christmas will be here before we know it. Holy shit. Man. It's coming quick. It's coming quick. Yeah. And... We're all cozy oh, in man. our robes. Oh, this is how I got my Walking Dead shirt on. Hey, yeah. I got my typical. Yeah, Jason. It says yeah. Superman. I'm Jason. I'm Jason, man. <laughs> ah, nice so, cozy robes. Yes, I like yeah, it. This is good. It's cold out. We've got some coffee. We got coffee. Man, we're just uh, we need a fireplace now. Mine may have rum in it. What the hell, dude? You left me out of this? What the fuck? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, Faces of Schlock. Faces of Schlock, 2009. It's been almost 10 years since this movie came out. Yeah. Uh, bleh. Uh, 105 mm. minutes and not rated. It's an anthology movie. Yeah. Uh, well, we, we like anthologies. We love anthologies. Right. Uh, not this one. Not this one. <laughs> now, the uh, <coughs> the reason uh, Adam chose this, I've seen this this movie show up as on the Christmas watch list. And I didn't know why, but the, the very last story uh, is a Christmas is a Christmas movie. story. So we're like, but ah! the other three and the wraparound is have nothing not. to do with Christmas. <laughs> Which, yeah. well, who starred in it? Who starred in it? Ruby LaRocca, who is uh, in a lot of indie horror movies. We've seen her uh, numerous times. Yeah, in... and George Stover. George Stover, who is also in a lot of indie horror movies. Yep, and the original Hairspray. Yeah. Which is weird to me. I feel like I need to go rewatch that. Now. I know. Me I love too. hairspray. Uh, check out my ball, Ooh, my hairy ball, hairy ball. <laughs> so, uh, well, let's just hop right in here into this shock. Okay. So, a little bit about the movie. It is an anthology. There are four stories and a wraparound. Right. The wraparound didn't even need to be there. No. To be honest, uh, the four standard. stories. I got to even look at them to see what they are. Uh, one of them was about a witch. Yep. Who came back to kill people. Right, who was summoned. One of them was about a ghost who worked at a, a, movie, theater. At a movie theater, which is kind of a cool little... I like that idea. He, he worked at a movie theater. He was a ghost who worked, who worked there. there. Right. I don't know how they paid him, but whatever. <laughs> they paid him in... Uh... One of them was about a killer reanimated foot. Not the strongest no. of the movies. No, way too punny. And one of them was about a killer... A killer... Kind of revenge they, killer obsession at Christmas. At, at, at Christmas, right? So, uh, which was your favorite one? Did you have a favorite one? Uh, <laughs> I like the wraparound the most. I to be gotta look with at you. it. The wraparound was probably the best. Um, the witch one. The first one. The first one was okay. Blood witch. Yeah. <laughs> And and the idea of a ghost working at a movie theater, I thought, was really kind of cool. Right. What did we like about what it? What did we like? <laughs> <laughs> Let me grasp into my bag of straws. Oh, um, yeah. It's no good. No good. I can tell you what? It's no good. It's no good. <laughs> no good. I can tell you one thing. This fella right here really enjoyed the nudity. There was. It was It was a, a lot variety of, of nudity. And full nudity. Some full frontal nudity. 70s bush. Yeah. Fine with me. Okay. Made me want to mow the lawn. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there was some decent nudity in there. Yeah, there's some good, yeah. some not so some good. Some not so good, yeah. but... Uh, that's always a plus. I can tell you one thing that this man here liked was Bugman. 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 There was a character in the... That was the first one, right? That yeah. was the first one, yeah. He just shows up out of nowhere, and he's just like, Bugman, Bugman, Bugman. Yep. Literally. Uh, it's just... But he's a pervert. He might have been the highlight of the movie, to but be honest. probably <laughs> my favorite part of the movie, Bugman. Um... There was uh, an Evil Dead posters in the background. That was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. They had an Army of Darkness one there, too. Yes, they did. They had the full they series, did. Evil Dead 1, 2, and Army. Yeah. yeah. You know, I like that. That was yeah. cool. Uh, actually, with that, there were a lot of really cool nods to other movies. Someone mm -hmm. was wearing a Troma t-shirt. Yep. Um, 
they were taught bringing up things that it's like, oh yeah, that's funny because that's a, a nod to this movie. That was kind of cool. Sure. I always like it when that's, they're a little aware of what right. they are. Well, and, and on the back here, and this says the ultimate cheesy, sleazy, boobs and blood soaked homage. Homage? Is that what you said? Homage. Homage, thank you. Yep. Homage. <laughs> to 80s horror. You know, sexy horror hosts slut pirate. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so I could see why the reference were in that. Yeah. Cool, you know, yeah. I wouldn't say it felt like an 80s movie. No, I wouldn't. Maybe I shot on wouldn't. video, maybe. Yeah. But, uh, mm. I felt more like 90s, to be honest. Like right. a 90s era right. direct to video movie. Yeah. Yeah. The wraparound was okay. It was okay. It, it wasn't necessary, but so many no. times it's not necessary. Right. Uh, but it was the shower scene in the wraparound, which came out of nowhere. That was really cool. Like this extended shower <laughs> yeah. sequence. It's just out of nowhere. It was, mag- but it mag- wasn't mag- gratuitous mag- like that crap we watched a few weeks ago. Right. Psycho Sat. Speaking of that, yeah, son of a bitch. So <laughs> we just found out today. <laughs> we just realized today. I we previously did Psycho Santa on stupid <laughs> movies. In the old format with our buddy Jacob, episode eighty six. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. I don't remember. Uh, I don't. Remember. You know that's not a good sign as a movie when we made fun of your movie two different times yeah. and we don't remember it. I will ensure you that it will not show up on the show in the future until next year. <laughs> next year. Um. Anyway, yeah. What's that say? Some movie. Some music. Oh yeah, some, some music, of the yeah. music. Uh, there was some really good punk music in yeah. here. Some yeah. of it needed a little bit of remastering, but uh, but <laughs> but there's some decent. Uh, the one in the the girl the punk band was really good. It was cool, except for their drummer. except for they had well the drummer was playing fine. <laughs> the drummer was fine, but it's it wasn't a it, it was a wood block snare drum. The, it's what it sounded like. The snare was really it was off. like hitting. It needed Literally, remastered. I, yeah. I, 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 but the song was good. The song was cool. There was cool. some decent music in there. Some like the Lunatics or Lunar Chicks or yeah. something like that. Yes, you know? that's what I was trying like to think 90s of. these girls. I was like, kinda... who does this remind me yeah. of? It reminds me of the Lunatics. Or the Donnas kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. No, nowhere near the level of the Donnas. Yeah, well, no. I mean, they were more rock and roll anyway. <laughs> right. So, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, uh, in the Ghost one, in Mike Was Here, um... The ghost, the the effect of the ghost was kind of cool. They yeah, made him kind of transparent. Yeah. I don't, you know, for the budget and stuff. Eh? The cover art, that was pretty cool. I do cover like the cover art. art. Yeah, that's that pretty nice. That was, was, was pretty good. Well, yeah. she never held an axe. I don't think in the movie. No, that's that's wrong. Um, but had I, had I, if, if this was the nineties, right, or the two thousands, oh, you would have read it. And I was at you yeah. know Blockbuster or Hollywood, which is where I went all the time. Right. And I saw this, I would have picked it up. Right. Yeah, this is a good cover art. Good yeah. quality cover art. We're, yeah. we're really stretching there. Warning, dangerously depraved. Yeah, cool title. Uh, uh, the Faces name of it? Of Schlock. Faces of Schlock. That's a good name. Right. That's a really right. good name. I, yeah. I do like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I is, think this is the first time we've ever said that the name of the movie was, was, was one of the like. few things we could find that we liked. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you know, we, we really... Mm, mm, it's not good. The, the good thing is we did not fast forward any of this. Like no. Like we did with Psycho Santa. So that's a plus. We probably should have. We probably well we I take that back. They had credits at the okay leading into oh uh, don't do that. I didn't even think this. Yeah, <laughs> to start off our dislikes at the end of every short story, they had credits for that one. Don't do that. Don't don't do, do that. <laughs> Put all your credits at the end where they belong. Just say yeah, and a lot of them do that. They'll say this movie. Yeah, don't do. I don't care. Yeah. So we did fast forward through the credits. The credits. But hey, that's acceptable. That, it wasn't the actual movie. Holy so. crap, you got so mad you spit onto the paper. I'm a spitter today. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what didn't we like besides the credits? The movie! We didn't like the movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> the acting was bad. The acting was really Literally, bad. Literally, even Ruby LaRocca, I did not uh, feel was no. good in this. Even George Stover in this. I, uh, but mm, The writing. The writing was bad. Was really bad. Sorry. They, they gave bad scripts to bad actors. Yeah, well, and that all goes hand in hand. Or... Or foot and foot. Fuck off. Get out. <laughs> Get out now. <laughs> because one of my biggest dislikes was in the third movie. The foot puns were just... Oh, uh, the, the, the God. The severed foot come back and there was... Uh, it, it, you pointed it out better than any anything. If you guys go back and watch our review of Ant Farm Dickhole. Right. Where we talk about how bad the puns were with Antony oh, and man. Cleopatra right. and all of those. This was worse than that. These puns made me so angry. I just wanted to fucking murder someone. And who would have thought anything could be worse than that? Oh. That was bad. Uh, I think I got some snot in my mustache part. Ew. Yeah, it's uh, the production value. I, okay, it's an indie movie. It's very low budget, micro budget. Support <laughs> indie. 
I'm all for that. Poor Indy. But it just, it was it, not this one. It, not the worst we've seen, right? But it was just was not good. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's not the worst we've seen. The hostess, slut Pyra. <sighs> slut shoot. Pyra. She was cute, kind of, but she looked like Monica Lewinsky from the Blowjob Days. And she kind of did, yeah. And okay, <sighs> the name. Yeah, I'm sorry, slut Pyra. I mean, <sighs> Fuck, man. Slut Pyra? I'm insulted by that. Yeah, I, I'm not cool with that. That's, no, that's, that's, that's not okay, man. And along with that... The, the, be better! Yeah, you can do better than that. The doctor in the foot one? Dr. Scholl? Dr. Scholl, yeah. Come on, man. Oh, <laughs> oh shoot. Um, At least that one didn't insult me right, as much. That was as just the Slut stupid. Pyra, that's just fucking... Really? Yeah, come on. Man. Not okay. No, not, not cool. It's like Monday Night Football, you know, when they do that. Come on, man. Come on, man. I, the the effects and the special effects. I mean, it was practical, so awesome for that, but it was not good practical. Yeah. I mean, the, the blood looked like chocolate syrup half the time. Yeah. Strawberry syrup. Yeah. Because it was red. Oh, that's a good point. Well, some, yeah. Yeah. That sucked! I don't like that. But there wasn't really... Any gore. gore. There's a lack of gore, and what was there was bad gore. Yeah. Like, just poor. It's just not looking... Mm, mm, at least it was on screen. <laughs> That's true. I there, guess I can say There that. were no off-screen kills. There was no off-screen kills. So that's something. Um, the dialogue was really bad. Bad. Bad, really bad. bad. It goes bad, the right and bad dialogue. Bad, 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 the uh, uh, the pacing was really off for me. God, too. It was slow. It was boring. We didn't like the movie. No, we didn't <laughs> like the movie at all. We really didn't. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, there, uh, there was no atmosphere. There was like, no motherfucking snow. Third week in a row. Oh, we give did me one of Christmas horror movie with snow. This we're is gonna, a cr- next week. We're watching Gremlins. I'm fucking done. <laughs> we're watching one fucking Christmas horror movie that has snow, and I know uh, Gremlins has snow. I know, dude. God, God. I know not everywhere gets snow, <laughs> but we do here. We want to see snow in our Christmas movie. A lot of snow. It's part of it for me and him. And three fourths of the movie was not uh, Christmas related, which okay, okay. we kind of knew. We get that. The last one called Sleigh Ride should be. There was no Christmas atmosphere. Took place at Christmas is what they said. She wore Christmas pajamas, and you see a Santa at some point. Which what the hell was that all about? And a lot of boobs. Yeah, that's true. You can see your boobs a lot. Yeah, Christmas package boobs. <laughs> Uh, you know. I'd unwrap that package. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's annoying. That, yeah. I don't like that. Um, it was boring. Uh, there, we mentioned 70s, but there's a lot okay. of bush. Now, uh, my, this doesn't bother me. Well, it didn't. Yeah. As much as it did Rob. It didn't bother me per se. It was just. It made me want to mow the lawn. It made me want to trim that bad boy up. It needs trimmed. Yeah. Now, I can't. I, we can't. Dude, I can't say anything because it looks like I'm smuggling Bob Ross in my drawers. No, no, no. <laughs> uh. The fact that I own this movie, I'm not real thrilled about. I bought it a long time ago on Amazon. I, probably pretty cheap. Is this the first you've seen it? This first I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I know why. Ah, but you know, um, hey, yeah. I supported them, so you know, hopefully they make better stuff. There, there was no at all. Right. There was no was poor execution. You know, and that can that ruins a movie. Eh, you know, props for trying. Hey, yeah. You know. And it's been ten years. Maybe they're better now. I, I know Ruby LaRocca is a better actress now yeah. than she was then. Yeah. Um, George Stover. I, it's I, other stuff I've seen him in, yeah. he, he's not like this. So that's where he that. goes. Yeah. So, who knows? Maybe these directors have gotten better. I don't even know who they are. Now, we... Okay. <laughs> going along with that, we started super movies over eight years, almost nine years now. Have right. we gotten better? No. <laughs> no. So, hey, <laughs> it can go either Good way. Point. Good point. We're still doing the same stupid bullshit. And, and then last but not least, we didn't like the movie. The movie. Yeah. yeah, the movie. It's, it's, sorry. It's, it's a, in general, I'm sorry. Yeah. So. I don't know. I really do think if you had taken this movie and given it to, like, a group of good directors and let them get a group of good actors. Right. Or even mediocre actors. Right. I, I think this could have been a good movie. It had potential. Yeah, you know, it had something there. There were things that needed fixed, like the foot puns were, were really Way obnoxious. over done. Okay, one or two, fine. It yeah. fits with it. But to, to go 20 and, to 25... And the whole fucking slut pura, mm, that could have been redone better yeah. with a better name that wasn't insulting. Right. Um, but, you know, a, a few things, tweaks here and there, and it could have been a better movie. So what, what, what are you going to rate it, dude? Um, I thought about this a lot. I'm going to give it a four. Out oh, of eight. wow. 
Um, it wasn't great, but God, it's not the worst of this type of movie that I've seen. True. And there was a lot of potential there. There was a lot of boobs there. Yeah. Uh, had I been watching this alone, <laughs> I would have fast forwarded through a uh, majority of a, it. Yeah, the whole foot one. Yeah. That whole thing I would have skipped through. See, and that that's that's kind of what a lot of this these kind of movies. Yeah. If you watch it, it depends if you watch it alone or with somebody yeah. or if you're drinking or if you're drinking. Now we, should, if we were we drinking. Been drinking. This would have been a lot. <laughs> we fun probably would have raised it up. Yeah. yeah. You know. But yeah, I'll, I'll give it a four out of eight. It's four not eight. horrible. Yeah. But I I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. Right. Like, if you just happen to have it, watch it. Watch it. Yeah. But skip. One foot in the grave. Really? That's the fucking name? You piece of shit. Fuck you. Did Skip you, that one. Did you just drop your score? <laughs> um, I'm going to... I, I didn't... I mean, I, I I agree with everything you say, but I I give it two out of eight. Yeah, this isn't your taste. No, it, I mean, it's okay watching it with you, but I... I don't know. <clears throat> But you know, if you had been watching it alone, you wouldn't have finished. Oh no, no. I would have fast forward probably most of it. Yeah, it's, you got to be in the mood, and I just it, most of the time, I you know, I like a little ah uh, uh, two out of eight. That's all I'm gonna give this schlock. That's fine. So schlock you. Um, <laughs> so on that note, we will continue our Christmas extra ganza. Um, <laughs> we have one more week left, and then it's Christmas time, everybody. Hey, Merry Christmas, folks. So, Merry Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Uh, we will be back next week, but until then, check us out on Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, at Stupid Movies, at The Horror Punk, at Dr. Sketch Turner. And uh, that's where we will probably be. I won't. You won't. I won't be on Instagram. <laughs> um, I haven't logged in. So, you know, I'm going to shout out my buddy Slasher Steve oh, yeah. on Instagram. Because that seems like something <laughs> he'd watch and probably wouldn't like. And it would be funny to see his reaction. So. You so, know, I was thinking, I don't even think Jacob would have liked these no, puns. He wouldn't have. And he loved puns. Yeah, he was a very pun dude. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> yeah! Something. See you next week. Oh. Have Merry Christmas. Fuck off. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs>